so we are back with some more ultimate arc and uh we got a lot of things planned here today we're gonna start off by hatching up a bunch of owls but i think we gotta talk about the little guy standing beside me i've probably already shown this off in a few videos by the time you've seen this one but uh if you don't know what that is that is my custom chibi i commissioned a 3d model to be made and then i also commissioned that to be animated and added to the game so if you want to check that out there's a link down below to the mod it's like a separate mod it's literally only just the chibi in it and uh i figured you know what i need a chibi to uh to be part of this series because i don't have one currently and uh you know the chibis could give you an extra five levels if you don't know that and i'll explain that in a second so i figured you know what the best chibi i could possibly have is myself <laughs> It's so stupid, but I love it. I do. I seriously love how well it turned out and the animations and everything are just amazing. Look at the little guy. He looks so cool looking. Look at him looking all around the place. So, uh, guys, go ahead and hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. He's even got like a little galley, by the way. I've seen people call that a compi. It's definitely a galley. 100% that is a galley, not a compi. Why would it be a compi? Like, let's be honest here. But uh, yeah, he likes to show you his little his little galley friend. Um, so yeah, go ahead and hit the like button if you found yourself enjoying this one. It's been great support so far on the, uh, return of Ultimate Arc, the Extinction Saga, and, uh, we're three episodes in as of this one, so we need to make more progress. I've got a bunch of owl eggs here. We're gonna hatch up all of them and, uh, raise them all up, and the purpose of these is to get a crap ton of owl pellets, because you need those to... You can use them to tame the gotchas, which we're gonna get here today, but you also need them to kind of increase... The, uh, the quality of the loot that the gotchas uh, drop. And I'll probably explain that later on in the video. Uh, but by the way, in terms of how the actual chibi gives you levels, because I know some people are still confused about this. I know most people already know this, but still. Um, basically, what you got to do is you got to kill alpha creatures. And uh, once you kill an alpha creature, it's going to get some XP and it can level up to level six if they start out at level one. So um, yeah, we can get alpha creatures through fighting the Orville supply drops, but also I think they're kind of just around a little bit. I know that mountain like way over there beside the desert is a good spot to be able to find at least the Rexes. So yeah, we could possibly find some at some point and get some extra levels uh, added to our cap. And that should bring us up to level 140 because currently my cap is level 135. All right, let's get on with it here. We got a crap ton of eggs over there that we got to grab, but uh, I'm just going to drop these down here and I have an air con on me and we're going to place that and get them all incubating and whatnot. All right, are they incubating? Yes, they are. All right, sweet. So let's grab some more of these. Oh, there's more owl pellets. I should grab those. I don't have that many because I really haven't been doing too, mi too much collecting of them. Um, but it's best to j really just kind of like let them passively drop them out over a long period of time. There we go. I thought you were about to poop one out. You didn't, though. Give me that egg. Sweet. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and just drop these eggs onto the stack. I want to probably raise up around this many. To be honest, let's let's take them off breeding because I don't want that many eggs. Uh, let's take you off breeding as well. A couple more things that I need to do pretty soon is definitely work on kibble because I need to tame up Euteranuses for the best tier of kibble like there's quite a few creatures that can give that but i think the only creature on this map actually that can give that kibble is the uteranus and then the hesperornis and i definitely don't want to try and tame those little stupid duck things because those things are super frustrating and also even just getting the golden eggs from them is not an easy task so uteranuses will be what we're using um oh my god there's so many owls <laughs> this is insane usually i'm going around killing all the babies this time I'm having to claim them all. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna raise up probably every single one of these babies here. I'm not gonna bother trying to imprint them or anything. It's not gonna make a difference. Uh, they're literally just gonna be for collecting those owl pellets. So I will see you in a little bit. Did I get them all? I feel like I did. No, there's more. So I gotta head over here to the sulfur fields because we need a little bit of sulfur we're also going to need some cactus sap, and then I already have some oil. Basically, what we're doing is we're making propellant, which is something that I'm going to need to power an S plus item that we're going to use to pick up uh, owl pellets automatically. Uh, the S plus item is called the item collector. Here, I'll show you what it looks like. Item. I've already crafted it, but there it is right there. You can use it to pick up and distribute the owl pellets, but I just want it to pick them up just so I can just pretty much AFK 
and sit there. Where exactly do I hit to grab the sulfur? Is it the bits that are in the acidic water or whatever? Or is it this? Oh, yeah, it's this. Okay. I guess I, I think I can also hit that. I'm not sure. I can't actually remember. Oh, yeah, we get the gas here as well. We can turn those into, um, into gas balls, I think. I'm pretty sure you can. So, yeah, uh, a mining tool will be really handy right now. Uh, I do technically have it unlocked, but I'm not going to make it because I shouldn't have it unlocked. The reason why I have it unlocked is because um, I think at, in Scorched, yeah, when we when we went to Scorched, I realized that, um, or was it in Aberration? M might have been Aberration. I realized that if I'm gonna if I'm gonna be keeping all of the Engrams and everything that I've learned on Scorched, I can't mind wipe, but I would need to mind wipe. So I went ahead and enabled the um, auto unlock, uh, like server setting or whatever, which means that. Every single level I get, I unlocked the Engrams that were at that level, so therefore I could keep the Engrams that I learned on Scorched and everything. So, unfortunately, what that's done is it's uh, made a situation where I I unfortunately actually already have all the Genesis Engrams. Um, when I get here, I don't, if we plan on actually going here, by the way, still really unsure about that, not sure how it's going to work, but when I get here, um, I'm not going to use any of this stuff until I've... Uh, like legitimately actually unlocked them. So if I want to get the Astrocita saddle, I need to defeat the beta controller and so on and so forth. Uh, luckily over here on Extinction, there is no Engrams that are unlocked from like bosses or anything. I don't think that there is anyway. I'm pretty sure that there isn't. Let me see, Extinction, what's down here? Yeah, all this stuff is just unlocked by levels, which is actually strange. Hmm, you would have you thought, considering it's like a giant tech city map, you would have thought that maybe there might have possibly been just a few Tekrams, but there isn't, which is really odd. Actually, there's no reward really at all for fighting the King Titan on this map, is there? Beyond the fact that you get rid of your implant and get the specimen, uh, what do they even call it? Specimen something something record, maybe? I can't remember. Um, so yeah, there's actually like no reward on this map for defeating the King Titan. Maybe Dermis's? flags trophies not it's not really worth it though anyway um so yeah a mining drill will be amazing but i will not be making one until we are at least on genesis if we happen to go there so yeah uh next up we need cactus sap of course the desert is where we're gonna find that and um we're still growing up the owls i think they're probably around 25 percent grown at this stage so yeah gotta get back there at some point soon and uh make sure that they're all doing good with lots of food Actually, I should probably gather some more on the way back. All right, well, I'll see you guys later because I think straight after that, once I have enough owl pellets at least, I'm going to head on over to the uh, sunken forest, and I'll probably see you guys when we're over there because that is the next thing that we need. We need to go and find some some decent level gotchas. They don't need to be fantastic, but the higher level they are, the better crafting skill stat they have. So, yeah, we probably should be looking for good levels. Yeah, I just realized I could use the wyvern for this. Shut up. <laughs> By the way, if you're curious how to turn these gas thingies into the gas balls, you just dump them into your little uh, forge, and it does it right here. Okay, I found a high level. Sweet. I've only actually seen three so far, so pretty good luck. Uh, I gotta stop that Carno from hurting it, though. There we go. Um, go ahead and eat that up. Um, all right. So I've got a crap ton of owl pellets in here. We can use those to tame this thing. So I think it at around maybe like 12 or something for a max level on dodo decks so let's uh let's just wait for it to stop i think oh you know what maybe okay we gotta like wait for it to slow down or stop and then we can just drop all these in front of it and that's basically how you tame them pretty easy um come on i guess i don't have to wait for it to stop it's just gonna be a pain to pick them up uh, okay, come on, buddy. All right, wait, wait, wait. He might be heading this way. All right, now we start dropping them. Go! Is he picking them up? I think he is. Maybe? No, he's not. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, buddy. Come on, pick them up. They're, like, right here. Right here, buddy. No? Okay. Come on. Right there. Right there. They're, like, right there. Come on, start eating them. <laughs> Oh, come on. All right, you know what? I'll just pick them up again. Um, Actually, I, I got to be a little bit careful of not 
dropping out like random other things. So let me just drop all this stuff in here for the moment. Just so I don't accidentally give him my rifle to eat because he totally would eat that. Um, oh my god, my little syntax confused me there for a second. Come on, buddy. All right, you know what? Let's just assume he's going to be walking around here. You pick them up. I'm pretty sure this is how you tame them. It's just he doesn't want to eat any. Come on, they're like right there. This guy's like broken or something. Like he just doesn't want to eat. I don't even understand. And it made me think maybe they don't eat owl pellets anymore, but I tried stone and he didn't want to eat that either. So I'm a little bit confused. I don't know. Very, very confusing. Like, there's a bunch of stuff, buddy. Come on. Maybe if I just use the wings and, and flap them over towards it or something. I don't even... Yeah, I don't understand. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Go over there and eat it. Like right over there. There you go. That's not really working very well, but... Oh, cr oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. All right. That's a bad idea. I need to pick up the stuff before it despawns, so... All right, we're good. You know what? I'm just going to go this way. Maybe doing that will fix him. I don't... Yeah. It's weird. Oh, look. There's another one over there. Uh, 95. You know what? I'm just going to test it on you and make sure that this stuff is actually working. Like, that one over there is just completely borked. All right. Are we somewhat safe? Kind of, sort of. Not very, but it's fine. Let's just drop a bunch of owl pellets. Yeah, he's eating them. What the hell's wrong with the other one? Seriously? What's wrong with the other guy? Like, why is he not eating anything? Is he full? So owl pellets are one of the most effective things to feed them, but they're not the most effective thing to feed them. I think the most effective thing is like tech structures and no, I'm, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm fine losing the levels on them, you know, provided that I can still manage to actually tame them without spending like tons and tons of resources on stuff. So yeah, this is going to be good for me. Oh no, you little. Oh, don't hit him. Don't hit him. But there's Eno. Wait, why can't... Okay, I can't attack. It just wasn't allowing me for a second. That was weird. Okay, there we go. And we got him. Okay, so I'm not sure what the issue is with the other one, but he's just borked or something. I don't know. He was, like, eating, but I don't... Yeah, it's weird. So what do you make? Uh, okay, so here's the way that it goes with gotchas, right? So start from this side, the right side. These first three things here are from the common list, all right? And then these next two are from the uncommon list, and then the last one is the rare list. Now, you can find better things on the rare list, to be honest. I mean, this isn't really super useful, especially on this map. Like, you definitely want... Uh, you can get element dust here, you can get metal... Uh, you can get black pearls, polymer, like so many good things here. So this gotcha in general is not very good. Oh my, okay. Okay, I can't even see. There we go. Oh, tons of raptors are just attacking and it's okay. We're just gonna go ahead and murder them. <laughs> oh my God, there's tons of them. Holy crap. I should just like leave the gotcha here. I don't actually even plan on bringing him back. Kind of sucks. Like his stuff is not very good, so... Although I could use them for breeding because when you breed gotchas, it gives you, uh, it doesn't pass down what they have as their production thing. So, I mean, I could potentially keep them. Although now I've just realized I've actually completely forgotten to bring my cryopods. So I'm going to leave you here. And if you survive, you survive. If not, I might come back for you later. All right. So at least we can confirm that everything's working correctly and I know what I'm doing. It's just for some reason... Uh, the other gotcha didn't want to eat anything, so I don't know what that's all about. Maybe let's go back over now. Is this it here? I feel like you're the one. Yeah, you are. Okay, let's see if he wants to eat something, because he's actually sitting down right there. He might want to eat. I'm gonna need more owl poop. Alright, let's see. And that should be more than enough, and I'm just gonna start dropping them, like, right... Okay, he's completely turned. Although he might be coming back, sort of. There we go. Yeah, now he's eating. I don't even understand what happened, but it's working now, so we're good. We are in the clear. 
All right. So, yeah, he's going to drop down by a little bit, but again, it's going to be fine. I mean, best thing that I can feed him, at least. Um, it's kind of disgusting how he likes to eat, you know, vomited up remains and, and just crap that the owls don't like to uh, fully digest. I don't know. Very, very strange. Um, it's also weird how they like owl pellets, yet I don't think that they could have ever met an owl, right? Like, because they spawned this biome, the owl spawned the other one. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I'm probably going to need to spread out the owl pellets because those ones are about to despawn. Let me do that. That way we don't lose any. I do have like 90 or so because we have so many owls, but still. All right. So, yeah, he's going to, you know, he's going to come out at a decent-ish level. All right. I think one or two more. Yeah, one more after this. Let's just pick up a couple of those. And there we go. Nice. All right, we got a compi. Uh, that's a level 150 compi. Uh, should I tame it? If this knocks it out, I'm going to tame it. Nope. Didn't, it didn't knock it out. Wait, where is it? I don't even know where it went. <laughs> There's actually a gotcha crystal over here, so I'm going to go grab that. Sweet. All right, so we got you. What do you produce? Sulfur. Not not a super useful thing. To be honest, all of yours kind of suck, actually. Hmm. All right. Well, it was a good level. It just it doesn't mean that it's going to be a good creature, though. Um, again, I could probably hang on to it. I think I might have knocked out the 150 compi and then just killed it right there. That's kind of funny. Let's see. Let me just bring them together. I, I don't know what their genders are, but I could potentially use them for breeding if I don't get anything good here today. So you're a male. I could have sworn this one here was a male as well. Yeah, both males. So that just doesn't work. Um, <laughs> all right. So let's uh, keep an eye out for some other high level gotchas. Hopefully we can find something. Um, I can't remember. Are they usually up there? That kind of leads up to that plateau where the forest titan spawns. I don't think... That's a good spot. All right. Well, I'm going to look around for some more, and uh, hopefully we can find something half decent. All right. So we have a 145 right here. Oh, perfect. It's sitting down as well. This makes it perfect for dropping out some owl pellets for it. Um, I want to actually just head over there and grab that beaver dam. Uh, oh, are you going to? Okay, no, you are eating. Sweet. I gotta go back over there and grab a beaver dam. I gotta remember to do that because a lot of cementing paste is going to be needed in this series. Let's drop out a couple more. Make sure you eat those ones there, bud. I don't think you are. I feel like you won't. Oh no, he is. Okay. Or she. Whatever. Alright, give me that one. Give me that one. Okay, I think one more now, right? You can see that one there, right? Hey, there we go. Nice. So what do you have? Black pearls. Okay. That's a good one, actually. Black pearls is very handy. Uh, we can get those through the orbital supply drops. I, I think the drop itself can actually give you some. Oh, oh my God. Holy crap. That scared the... Jesus, dude. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, I did not like that. That was terrifying. I wasn't really watching. I was like looked away for a second and then suddenly I looked back and there's a true dot in my face. Ah, I hated that. But yeah. Oh my god, what was I even saying? Yeah, you <laughs> you can get them from the drop itself, but you can also get them um, from the creatures. The corrupted creatures can occasionally drop just a few, but it adds up after a while. Let me go grab that beaver dam. It's over here. Luckily, that thing didn't knock me out. Oh, hello. Can I see your level from here? Le oh my god, it's level 150. But it's being attacked by a raptor. I feel like it can take the raptors, so I'm going to head over there in a minute and try to get that. There's also another one over there, but I don't think I'd be able to see its level. And the beavers are back. Great. They weren't back a minute ago because I just killed a bunch of them. Uh, let me just grab all these and I don't need the woods. Let's drop all that crap and run. I got to go over and grab that level 150, though. That is amazing. I'm not sure what gender it was, so I probably got to maybe her over there. This one here is a female for certain, so hopefully that one over there is a male. And if it is, then that's going to be a decent breeding pair. Where was it? Oh, here it is. 
Oh, yeah. And we got this other one over here. Let's just check its level while we're sort of close. Level 60. All right. Well, you're poop. Um, I probably in total killed maybe like 20 gotchas. I stopped harvesting them though because they give you <laughs> they give you like stone and then I constantly have to drop the stone because I get overburdened and everything. So it's kind of awful. But um, yeah, I am happy with this. Oh, I never checked its gender. Ah, oh, it's a female. Eh, I mean, two high level females isn't bad. I could totally use those for breeding. Um, okay. Let me see. Let me stop like right here. Are you gonna... Oh. Are you gonna eat these? Maybe? I don't know if he's gonna... Or she's gonna eat them. Nope. Probably not. Um... Hmm. Just dump a bunch together and hope that it comes back over to them. Come on. Right here. Lots of owl poop. You love this stuff. I know you do. Apparently not. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Lady. All right. This is perfect. Right here. There you go. Come on. Oh, my God. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. Occasionally, they just don't want to eat. Maybe I got to, like, wait a little bit or something. Hmm. Okay, we finally got it. Sweet. What do you have, Sap? You're a 150. I had hopes for you. <laughs> that sucks. I mean, you know what? It is a high level. It's probably got some pretty good crafting skill. That seems... I don't, I don't know what a good crafting skill is at this point. Um, yeah, we'll probably go ahead and bring the two of those home along with that 135 that we tamed, if I can find it. Where is it? Anyway, yeah, so I'll go ahead and find all of those, and, uh, we'll bring them all home. Well, first I have to go back home and actually grab some cryopods, because I'm an idiot. So, I'll see you guys in a little bit, and we'll do some gotcha breeding. Okay, so I've got a bunch of these gotchas breeding together, and the highest of the stats... Uh, for crafting skill between them is 126. The other two are the exact same. They're both at 120. So what I want to do is I want to try and get rid of the gotchas that come out with 120 in general. And um, also, I don't really need a huge amount of these resources. Like, uh, I don't need sap at all. Are they, the two of these are sap? Okay, the two of those are going to go. <laughs> don't need those guys. Oh, crap. You guys are still on wander. No. Oh, crap. Wrong place. They're... There, and then, boom, there. All right, so let me see. What are you? 126, and your organic polymer. Okay, we're just going to make this one our polymer one in general. So poly, uh, that's in caps. Let's just put in poly. There we go. Sweet. Oh, we have another baby over there. Let me go quickly claim you. And what is happening over there? Why is there red numbers? Oh, you know what? That might be a gotcha that has completely wandered over there. Basically, um, I, I AFK'd for a few minutes and came back and completely forgot that I had the breeding. So, yeah, that's probably a gotcha over there dying. That's okay, though. <laughs> oh, my God. I came back and there was like six or seven of them. And I was like, oh, forgot about that. Oops. All right. So, let's go ahead and just get rid of you. Um, I don't need the sap wands. Going to get rid of the two of those. What are you? 126 with can't check with the gun in my hand apparently polymer as well all right we're just gonna get rid of you don't need to see you've got black pearls and you're only 120 so i'm gonna get rid of you uh the the good part about the crafting skill in case you're curious is um basically when they produce items uh if they have crafting skill like higher than before then essentially what you're going to get is you're going to get better quality items. So yeah, you want the crafting skill to be as high as possible. So um, I don't want to be breeding out a bunch of these guys with crappy crafting skill. And speaking of that, another polymer one. Wow, tons of these guys are polymer. What are you? 120. Let's just check anyway. If I get an element dust one, I'm going to keep it until I get another element dust one, I would say. Let's see, 120, I'll just check you anyway. Black pearls, don't need you. All right, uh, there's probably one over here then because we saw those. 
those numbers a minute ago. They really wandered off, didn't they? Holy crap, dude. Get, get back here. All right, what do you have? Obsidian? Okay, don't really need obsidian. You don't really need, like, a huge abundance of that stuff. I mean, I can make organic polymer through the gotchas, so, yeah, probably not going to need obsidian to um, make normal polymer with the cementing paste. Let me see. What are you? Sulfur. Nah, not really needed. All right, so let me see. Any more around here? I feel like we probably got them all. What is happening over there? Oh, it's a gotcha. Oh, my God. Wow, you wandered so far away. That was a complete derp up by me, to be honest. I really I really should have uh, paid closer attention. Let me see. Black pearls. All right, I'm going to get rid of you, but thanks for collecting a little bit of flint for me. If you didn't know, they can randomly just collect up that stuff, so um, it's a great way to just have, like, a little automatic farm. But they will eat it, so probably not, I guess. Let me see. Um, any more babies? Hello. God, these things are popping out so quick. 120 with organic polymer. Goodbye. All right, so I'm going to keep doing this. We obviously are going to need uh, element dust ones, but element dust, I'm pretty sure there's, like, some sort of thing built into the code to make that one the super, super rare uh, resource. So it might be a while before I manage to get one of those. I don't know. That's kind of a bit of an arc myth, actually. I'm not even sure if that's true. So if it is true, let me know. But at the same time, maybe you think it's true because you also believe in the myth. I don't know. If somebody has like some concrete proof whether or not that is true or false, that would be cool. If not, then I guess I'm just going to keep assuming that it's not true. Let me see. What are you? 126 with sap. And you've been stealing a bunch of these. Okay. Uh, let me check you as well. <laughs> They're all over the place. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, uh, I fenced up around this area. Mainly because um, my Stego got killed. <laughs> so Rip Stego, he didn't even have a name. Uh, but yeah, he, he's, he's dead. Um, I fenced up the majority of this. I need to collect more materials to do the rest of like this side here But uh, in in general, I don't know I've done up quite a lot of it and I didn't do this side because I'm not sure if anything can get up there But also I want to try and keep those tables if I can because you know what? Let me show you. Let me show you. Do I have any water? There we go I got to show you how much crystal we got because it's actually silly. Uh, we also have another gotcha over here apparently Oh my god, they're just everywhere What are you? Sap. Not needed. Boom. Alright, so let me show you my crystal stash because this right here is all crystal. Yes, 173 slots, so that's what? Uh, 100... Yeah, I don't know. That's that's a lot. That's a huge amount. Uh, that's like 17,000 crystal, which is just silly. So, in general, I have quite a lot of everything that comes from those tables, but I've been turning all of the dust into element, and so far we have 24 pieces. Let's eat some food. Um, and then obviously we have tons of electronic and what else comes from those tables? Uh, oh yeah, metal scrap, which I've been turning into ingots and constantly using. So yeah, going pretty good here with all the resources actually. Uh, it's kind of amazing. I really like the spot. Obsidian, not needed. Okay, so now we're at the point where we have a couple got- Hello. That's kind of rude, buddy. I didn't really appreciate that. We're at the point now where we have a couple gotchas. As you can see, we got one called Black Pearls, we have one called Poly, and we have one called Metal. I really have not been able to get anything good beyond these three right here. I've been getting Obsidian a lot, Organic Polymer a lot, and then the Red uh, Gems a lot, which is unfortunate, but I'm gonna continue to breed them, but I will say it's probably gonna be the end of this video. Uh, because I think it, my time is up for making this video. I'll probably try to get some more bread up between episodes and hopefully maybe we can have maybe an element one. Maybe what else do we need? Uh, I guess to be honest, actually, I don't really need anything else. I can't really think of any other resources that I might need from the gotchas. Yeah, no, not really. Maybe just like an element one and like I can pair that with the metal one if it turns out to be a female or I can pair it with, uh, one of these ones here. Okay, wait, no. So these two are male. Okay, I didn't actually realize that. And wait, you're the female. Okay, I got a little bit confused by the jetters. Anyway, so um, I will explain how you actually feed these things and uh, get all the crystals from them just in this video because I figure I probably should. So basically what you want to do is you don't want to keep more than one gender of gotcha 
close to the rest of them. So what I really should be doing is taking away that one and taking away that one and leaving the male and the female together. That is essentially how you get them to be happy. Um, you'll know that they're sad because they'll have these kind of like dark uh, little kind of particles on their back. And in general, I don't know, they look kind of sad, don't they? They always look sad, to be honest. He's not even looking at me. He doesn't even want to. He's so sad. Uh, so that's basically how you make them happy. Uh, having the mate boosted really helps, obviously, but, uh, you know, you could just have one off by itself. And then at that point, what you want to do is you want to give it stone or other resources. There's tons of different things that you can feed them. I've heard a long time ago that, like, war maps is the best thing to feed them to produce crystals and everything and the loot from the crystals. Personally, I think that's a little bit too much effort that you'd have to put in because considering how many they eat per go, you would have to sit here and constantly craft war maps which really doesn't seem worth it. Now, obviously, you can do that if you feel like you want to, but um, I'm going to go ahead and feed them some stone, and I should have some stone in here. Uh, I probably don't have a huge amount. I probably got to take that dodic out. You know what? If they eat crystal, I should check this. If they eat crystal, I'm going to feed them crystal because I have way too much crystal. We said crystal like three times there, which is great. So what you got to do to feed them, pretty much just drop it down on the ground in front of them. They should also feed them owl pellets too. I forgot to mention it. And uh, every single time they eat with, uh, if like they're happy or whatever, mate boosted, uh, they're going to immediately go ahead and produce you a crystal. And that crystal could be a glowy crystal, which means that it's going to give you special resources or not special resources, special items uh, based on their crafting skill. Or it could go ahead and just be whatever their actual loot is. And by the way, you actually want to come in here and select the item that you want to get. So currently it's set to this if you don't do anything you gotta set it to whatever you want so for this particular one i want polymer of course so yeah that's basically how you do it to be honest i probably don't even really need an organic polymer one here considering the fact that i can go out there and kill a bunch of corrupted creatures and i've just realized that amazing so yeah that's gonna be it for today guys if you have enjoyed this video go ahead and hit the like button if you want to see more like this you can of course subscribe I will go ahead and actually try to get myself an element gotcha, maybe two, I don't know, we're gonna see. Uh, they seem to be very rare, so I don't know, we're gonna have to wait and see what we get. Uh, look how sad you are, you're not even looking at me, he doesn't even want to. He's so upset. <laughs> I feel like that has something to do with that, to be honest. I've never seen them look to the side like that, it's so strange. Anyway, that is it, and I will catch you in the next adventure.